I've uh, set up a test setup here to uh, look at an antenna that was a patch antenna made out of Rogers uh, 3210 Duroid. This is the patch and uh, it uh, is 10th inch thick. It was designed for mounting on a metal surface. The output frequency unmounted was, uh, that's GU, uh, uh, this, uh, what I used as uh, my indicator as to what I was doing at the time, it was 439.685, 22 dB, well, almost 23 dB return loss. That was on a HP network analyzer. Bandwidth 3 dB points was 437.9 to 441.5, so somewhere around uh, just slightly above 440 megahertz. You can see it was 6 inches by 4.2 inches uh, on a side here, and the feed point was in the center, uh, uh, 1.49 from the uh, bottom edge here. So that's uh, where the match seemed to be the best when it was unmounted. When it was unmounted, the gain uh, was minus 4.3 dBD, or minus 2.14 dBi. So. Uh, that's uh, the situation. When it was mounted, that's the GM figure there, um, the match wasn't as good, of course, and I never did rematch it. Uh, but anyway, it was 0.924 dBD, so a little bit more than a dipole, about a dB. And um, that's 3.05 dBi. Here are the curves that I just took using the uh, this, I've got a 1 dB pad on this side, I've got a 1 dB pad on this side, uh, just to make sure I have 50 ohms on each port here. And uh, the ZFDC-20-5 uh, um, coupler from mini circuits. I have um, an SMA here, and uh, this has been set up to uh, read uh, properly with an open circuit here. Uh, 0 dB return loss. So let's uh, put this thing on there and see if we still have the same uh, same results. I'll just uh, rotate this thing on. It's the simplest thing to do with an SMA if you can hold it. Alright, so there we go. And uh, we'll go to uh, back to uh, mar uh, not marker one, but um, trace one. Okay, it's frozen right now. We'll uh, clear write it. And there we have uh, what it does uh, at the moment. We'll go peak. And we'll go uh, minimum search. Whoops. Why is it uh, going to number two there? I don't understand that. Oh, I probably am on marker two. <laughs> there we go. Marker two is on the other trace. Marker one is the one I want. Peak. Minimum search. There we go. So minus 20 dB is what it says here. 440.233. So that uh, more or less squares with what was... Uh, captured before. It's a little bit higher by a megahertz, but it's got a pretty good match uh, when it's not on metal. I'll get that out of the way so you can see what it's doing there. And uh, if I wave my hand near the antenna, you can see that it changes, so that indicates that it's radiating uh, because it's ref my hand is reflecting the signal back and changing the return loss. So let me demonstrate that by holding this over here, and I can show you that uh, as I move my hand around here. Now the edges that radiate are this edge and this edge. These edges should be fairly dead on this kind of a patch antenna uh, where we have the... Uh, uh, this is radiator, this is, these are in phase, and these are out of phase with each other. Um, due to the feed point here. So these are dead. But these are uh, 
going to uh, be impacted by me grabbing onto it. And that's just the nature of a patch antenna. Okay, I've mounted the uh, patch on the uh, metal, which I'll show you in a minute. And uh, as you see, the trace uh, has moved up in frequency to where the other uh, blue trace was uh, because uh, it's now um, on the metal just like the other. So it's moved up by the same amount um, and uh, if I play around here you'll see that it changes frequency. That's me just well here let me show you. Okay there we go. So I I'm touching it here and it changes frequency. But it's now mounted on this metal piece. Uh, so it has ground plane all the way around it. Let me uh, zoom out for that. Uh, there we go. Now you can see it. So there's a patch like on the metal panel, like a, maybe a containerized cargo sh uh, container or possibly an aircraft or anything that uh, needs a surface mounted uh, low profile antenna. So there you go. That's the patch as it normally would be used. And um, as you see up here, we uh, do have a little bit of a problem in that our frequency has gone up. Unless that's the frequency you want to operate at, at least. And, uh, but it has broadened, which is interesting. So that's uh, the nature of a patch antenna. And um, it is impacted by what's around it. It is, after all, an antenna. So whatever is around it is going to impact its uh, radiation and impedance. The first picture we took shows both resonances. So just a quick little demonstration of uh, evaluating the patch antenna. And uh, if I get in... If I get really uh, enthusiastic about this, maybe I'll drill another hole and move the um, feed point here and uh, try to match that up at the uh, correct frequency and uh, see what we get then. But it still has, looks like, uh, what, uh, about 14 dB of return loss. So that's, that's a good thing. But it has only about 3 dB of return loss up there at the old frequency. Uh, so you can see that it is a narrow band situation.